Hooray! We're back with more Tears of the Kingdom. And of course, it is I, Maniacal Engineer. Quite thrilled to actually be here again. And a little bit of change since the last time. My uh, weapons inventory has changed a little bit. You can see I have a couple of spiked iron ball hammers. Uh, I don't remember if I had that as of the last time I streamed, but I also have a moblin arm. Which is interesting. But yes, things have been going very interestingly. And uh, I have some stuff to do today. Before I do any of that, though, I would like to point out... Oh, actually, I'd also like to point out that I've got a few more bows than I did last time, which is nice. Uh, I also have a couple of... Well, I fused a Traveler Sword to a shield. I don't think that was a brilliant idea, but... Eh. I also have this guy here, which is convenient. Yep. I will expand... Again, I'm, I'm going straight for the weapon stash. Because... That's where I actually seem to have a shortage consistently. I have enough Korok seeds that I might be able to... Um, exp well, I would be able to expand my bows at some point if I absolutely have to. So I'm not panicking too badly about that. I think we're going to be okay for now. But yeah, no, that's something. Speaking of something, I've got a little bit more of my map. Um, okay, it's not a bit more of my map. It's I, I haven't actually explored more. I've just wandered around a bit in some of the areas that I've already highlighted. So you can see, right, I've got a shrine here, a shrine here, a little heart over there that I'll well, reveal when the, the time is right, and then a shrine here. Uh, I think some of those I'd already found before, and I just actually wandered and poked them, but... Um, that is near the uh, outskirts stable, so I believe that the Colosseum ruins are right here. I do remember from... Well, I, I mean, so yeah, this, this is actually the uh, Great Plateau. Which is kind of fun, because that was the starting area last time. No decayed guardians hanging out there. No guardians of any kind in this game. But, let's actually go investigate these shrines that I've unlocked, but not actually been into yet. And then we'll kind of work from there. Maybe I can actually go in and unlock the tower for the Gerudo Desert. Maybe I can go and explore the depths some more. Although, speaking of the deaths, I've been spending far too much time down there. And actually, one other thing that I should mention. Um, I have some golden apples, which is kind of fun from my explorations near one of the shrines. But I also have somewhere. Oh yeah, a couple of things, actually. So I've got two blue boss Bacoblin horns from that boss Bacoblin that was near the tower that I unlocked last time. Then I've got uh, a Frog's Fingernail. Which is something I definitely did not have last time. And a Frog's Fang. So there's uh, a creature in the depths called a Frox. And um, I killed one. 
was that this game has a bunch of interesting boss battles. I will give it that. I will absolutely give it that. Because it had the, the evil Rubik's Cube, which was fun, uh, and had those different phases and ways to use your special abilities. Then it had uh, that fight where you were with the Monster Hunter group and basically battling a bunch of monsters that acted as a boss, but were not actually, like, but you were fighting it with a bunch of people. Um, and then... You have the Frox battle, which is almost like a combination... It's, it's almost like a combination battle... ...with the, uh... Hinox and the, uh, Stone Talus... ...and the Muldugga. The way you fight that is you can either target their one eye or hooray for car pileups. Or you can target like if if they uh Oops. Well that was not what I intended to do. Oh well, my sword sword is now just a regular sword again. Oh, see I could just make another one of those, but I don't want to. Why bother taking why bother making one when I can just take one? Of course I could make this thing a six wheeler. Anyway, um, what was I saying? I don't remember what the heck I was saying. I really don't remember what I was saying, which is kind of bad. Okay, good. Now if I come at it from this way... Huzzah, a six-wheeler. Now, go! Well, being at a minor angle definitely doesn't help. Okay. Goodbye, car. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? I hope I don't need my car. Ah, yes, 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 yes. This makes perfect sense.
bought were I to use... That. Now I'm in. Well, that was somewhat easy. Ah, interesting. That looks like a bottomless pit. No, 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 hold on. Don't need that, I need this. But here's my problem. Ah, yes, okay. That makes sense. Mm hmm, come a little closer. Good, good. Now. Go forth, my stupid mobile. Hooray! That seemed far too easy, and I haven't found any treasure yet. Huh. Huh. Okay, let's grab this. There's no treasure chest on the bottom of this, right? Damn, I thought there might be. Well, that's, uh... Hmm... Well, okay, the, the shrine itself is simplicity, but finding treasure is... No, 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 that's just a spare wheel. Yes, yes, I hear you over there with your beeping and your booping, but I haven't found treasure yet, and this is very disappointing. Well, you know what they say. Let me just go find... Well, let me see if it's not back here. It's always worth checking behind the, the critter. Alright, well I'll solve this, and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to figure out where the heck my treasure is. Because that's truly the most important part. Hmm. Yeah, no light of blessings here. Uh, 
Uh... Alright, we're going back in and we're gonna try to find some treasure. Because there, there must be, and I must have just missed it because I am a stupid. I wonder, like, maybe it's back here? I wouldn't doubt if they put treasure back there at one point just to confuse us. Oh! That makes a ton of sense. Okay, that was significantly easier than I thought it might be. Arrows are good. But yeah, no, uh... Yep, that's it. So I can just turn around and leave this frickin' car wreck here forever. Works for me! All right, what else have I got? A couple more. Uh... Yeah, see, I had found that one before, but I didn't go, like, so I, I traveled there having spotted it. I believe this is the shrine with the uh, golden apples nearby. There are a bunch of ever means too, which is why I only got six golden apples. But yeah, see, there's there's uh, this nice little grove over here. But you get in too close. And some of the trees come to life. And by some, I mean way too many. And it still surprises me when they do that. Like, it really shouldn't at this point. What the... There was something else back. Oh, damn it. An Octorok, I bet. I hate those. Yep, right in the frickin' face. That is the best picture of a forest Octorok ever. Moments before it hit me in the face. That's two concussions. I really... I, I, I think my concussion count is way lower than it should be. But I have to keep track of this stuff myself. So, it's not so easy for me. All right, you know what? I'm going to do what I said, and I'm going to check back here. Now, see, falls are easy, lava is easy, deaths are easy. Concussions are a lot less, because a lot of the time that I would be recording them, I'm in the middle of a battle, and I don't necessarily remember when I'm done... Oh yeah, I have to record my concussions. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Well, this is, uh... I feel like this shrine is backwards. Wait a minute. Hmm. I always forget what day it is. Also, hi, Dian. Oh! Duh, it's the power that I keep forgetting that I have. This one. Yes, yeah, swim through the rocks. That looks fun. Actually, can I fuse that with something? I can! I get a feeling I need that for something in the puzzle, though. Oh yes, I need that to get... here. But first, I need that to get... here. We'll move that forward a bit and attach. Or, more accurately, I think I wanted to attach that a little bit further. No, this'll do. Look, that's fine, you disappear as often as you need to. All right, got the treasure chest. More arrows. Very good. Also, I did tackle one shrine already. Um, it was a, I, I left it in a massive five-car pileup, as is my way. As is always my way. But I'm going to move this to here, where it is necessary. And I will once again use Ascend. Uh, not the Bright Bloom, Bloom Seed. And this way I will actually be able to go all the way up to here. And now I can fuse. Aha! What kind of stupid weapon is this? An iron box hammer. <laughs> Excellent. I know I don't have my bombs to blow up the monk anymore. It's very sad. Oh. Yeah, it always does. It sucks that it shrinks. Interesting. Oh, no, not fuse. Not fuse. I can't fuse. I did not shrink, Bob. Bob is not shrinkable. Okay, so there's that. Now, let me explore up here. Excellent, excellent. I might be getting slightly better at puzzle solving. Up, up and away! Not bad, me. Not bad at all. Swimming through rocks power is one that I don't use very often. 
I use Fuse and Ultra Hand a lot, but that shouldn't surprise anyone because I am a mad scientist, Majig. Always on the lookout to create the stupidest of stupid weapons and stupidest of stupid mobiles. Alrighty. This takes way too damn long. Like, I was able to get a drink of water in the time it took that animation to go, like, barely through. Why don't I swim up through some rocks? I mean, I don't see a lot of instances where I can do that. Maybe it's just me not being clever with my powers. Because Lord knows I am not clever with my powers. Which, again, really should not surprise anybody. Hmm. Oh, a golden apple. Oh, by the way, Dien, you were a little late, so once I'm done collecting this golden apple, I want to show you the picture I just took of an Octorok. <laughs> I got that photo of the Octorok instance before that boulder smacked me in the face. Also, I haven't been paying enough attention to my character profiles. So, Raru, someone who shares a name with the first king of Hyrule, blah, blah, blah. Yes, POV minutes before Doom. Hestu, Tree Fairy, Impa, jo Joshua, my man Robbie. Pura, and of course the evil princess herself. I see. Oh, is that another golden apple? Ah! I don't think I got it. And I don't think it's worth it. Damn trees always attacking me. Yeah, I think that golden apple is just gone. Oh well. What stab the tree with what? I got rid of my stabby bit from my sword and covered it with a box. Hit it with the box. Well, hitting it with the box doesn't actually seem to be doing anything. I mean, I guess it knocked off all the apples, but... I don't think I need apples that badly. Anyway... Oh, it made you laugh, yes. Good, making people laugh is a good thing to do. It's called boxing. Yes, boxing a tree is a terrible idea, though. So, let's go here to the outskirts stable. And this Tsutsu Um Shrine. 
I don't think I need him to do that for me, no. I'm perfectly okay with the tree not being boxed. Oh yeah, that. I was going to deal with that after the shrine. So let's go deal with the shrine. I do find it very fitting, given the characters that I found around here, that this is the Tsu Tsu Shrine, because I'm pretty sure there's at least one Tsundere around here. And it isn't me! Oh god, what the hell is this? The stakes guide me. That's a mistake! Uh, I'm not gonna want that, am I? I'm gonna want my Ultra Hand. Okay, the stakes guide me where? Where is a stake? Oh, interesting. So I'm probably going to want to do that, and then I'm going to want to take that thing as a lift going up. Assuming that I can without falling into a giant hole. Which, I'm me, so... Yep. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm working on it. Like I said, I have to manually update all this stuff. Oh, well that's not nearly low enough. I hate these stakes, by the way. I really do. All right, hooray, I made it. I did. I made it. Okay. Now, the obvious thing is to look for treasure, and there is, in fact, treasure. I am, in fact, getting better at finding treasure. Except for that first shrine, which... Well... Let's not talk about that first shrine where I completely missed where the treasure was. To be fair, I found it very quickly on my second run-through. Okay. Now I have gotten myself here. And I do not know what I am opposed to do. Well, okay, I'm supposed to get that ball into the thingamajigger over there. Except I can't grab much of anything. Oh, hey! Look what I got. Do 
You may have been being facetious. On the other hand... I would have laughed if that worked. Wait, that might have actually worked. That actually worked? What the hell? Aha! Well, okay, no, that just destroyed the... That just destroyed the stake. I forgot that those stakes are squishy. Yep. That's my better plan. That is my much, much, much better plan. Is to go over here. Look, who needs to actually do things the way I'm supposed to do them? Oops. <laughs> Alright, that's still here, right? Yeah. Hmm. I want to get into there. But I don't think I can drop down without... Okay, yes, I can. Okay, now, the question of the day is how the hell do I get out of here? Oh, right, that. And then I should be able to paraglide from here. And... Where am I supposed to go? Yeah, okay, that's the entrance. That's where I need to go. That is a good question, D.N. I would like to point out I managed to, to get through the two previous shrines all on my own.
quiet, you. You were here for one of them. You were here for the one right outside the apple farm. Or at least for most of it, anyway. The first shrine, I will also admit, was pretty simplistic. Alright, uh, there's that stable over there. But, there was also that other thing that required... Oh, hey, dragon. I don't suppose that's close enough for me to get a good picture, huh? Oh, hey, it is. Hi, Farish! Okay, now, where is... There is... Thingamajigger. The Great Fairy. Fairies are good. Oh, that does actually remind me. I might get some actual fairies. Which means I may stop dying. Well, okay, not stop dying, but... It might be slightly more difficult for me to die. Moving forward. Perhaps. Though I have to wonder if this fairy is going to ask me for money again. Because I really don't have a lot. Oh, hey, Blood Moon time. You know, I was thinking that it was about time one of these things arose. It's Kesa! Hi, Kesa! Oh, no, it's not. Kesa, don't be that way. But, but, Kesha, it's me! I'm sad. When the glow of the blood-stained moon... Don't care. Go away. I mean, okay, it's kind of typical that she was saying that literally during a blood moon, but... Well, this makes me very sad, because she's my favorite. Don't tell Farish you're here. I won't. I'm also not seeing any fairies. Like, I hoped that there would be fairies here. Other than Kesa. But that's disappointing. I'm very sad. Oh, they only show up after the cactus blossoms. That makes a certain degree of sense.
Anyway, welcome to the outskirts stable. Oh yeah, that's already a fusion weapon. Well, I don't need any axes. You know why I like this stable so much? Because I found some delightful redheads. We've got Pasha, we've got Risa, we've got Dina. Now, I don't know if y'all remember those names, but... These are the students from the Vo and Yu class, back in Breath of the Wild. Oh. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They call him a hero. Hey, that's me! But he's a strong Vo who's taller than us, even. Uh, no? And yes, remember that this was the one who was particularly violent. Oh. Legendary sort of, well, I lost my plastic sort of, oh, wait, they're talking about Bob. Darn it! <laughs> what about a legendary sword that's got a box on it? Mm. Bob isn't that tall. I, I mean, yeah, I guess Nega Bob is taller than Bob, but still... You have to stop referring to Vo as targets. Here, this is a legendary sword, see? It's so legendary that it's got a box on it. And the box shrinks. Magically. When I put it on my back. Don't set them up with Negabob. Redheads deserve better than that. Look at the doggy. Oh, right. I need a picture of the doggy. I wonder if I also need a picture of the Gerudo. Spoilers. I do not. Sad. Anyway, what say you? Oh, you're sleeping because it's 2.50 a.m. Who sleeps at 2.50 a.m.? Evidently, she doesn't. What's the news? Oh dear. Woodland Stable, wow. Okay, so there's another one. Musical Troop was heading to Elden in the Northeast. What are the other stories? Uh, yes. Excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about monsters in the Blood Moon. They didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Huh. And Beetle is sleeping, so I'll leave sleeping Beetle's lie. Who are you talking about? You have something on your mind. What's on your mind? Okay. Woodland Stable and Elden. Okay. Well, I don't want to go to Elden. Now, 
Elton is full of rock people. The birthplace of Hyrule? What? What? Southeast, there's a place called the birthplace of Hyrule. And that's to the southeast of here. Oh, so somewhere in... This area. It's probably... It might be Mount Hylia. Look, why do you think I am where I am? I know I'm getting close. I absolutely know I'm getting close. So the Colosseum is here. Do I want to go take a peek in the Colosseum? I feel like I don't want to go take a peek in the Colosseum. There is a Lionel that was there last time. Oh, God. Way up there. Uh... Hmm... What materials do I have nearby that I might be able to use to launch this poor Korok into space? Because I sure as hell can't get him up that full cliff. What if I put him over... Oh! Couple of boards, yes. That might be helpful. What else we got? Hmm. Well, there's something over there, but I don't think that's going to do much of anything. So, this might be some time to use equipment that I have on hand. I could use a Zonai fan, potentially angled downward. All right, let's take that out. Let's plop that on top of the fan. Let's take that, flip it 180 degrees, and attach it. Let's take that and move it there. And
Hmm. All right. What if I shoot the fan? That's not going up. I might need a second... Yeah, I think I need a second rocket booster. I think I definitely need a second rocket booster. Or a second fan. Yes! Wait a minute. That's not at all what I had in mind, but it still might work. Let's try one more thing. Come here, you. And we'll put this... Oops. Yes! Perfect! Hush, Korok! Just leave this to the mad scientist. I probably know what I'm doing. You're not supposed to lean that way. Now, go! <laughs> ah! Ah! I set myself on fire! <laughs> That's a good shirt. I like that shirt. I have a better idea, though. I may not be able to launch that up to the moon, but I might be able to get it pretty close. Hmm. Well, that's just not going to work. I think that's still too far from up there to... That's 
I think that's still too far from up there to actually accomplish anything. On the other hand, if I flip this contraption 180 degrees from here... ...and launched it from here, that might actually work! Why is it raining when it says it's sunny out? Why is it raining and sunny out at the same time? You know what? I don't want to be that close when those flamethrowers go off. Well, so much for that. I set myself on fire again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's just not working at all. You know what, Korok? I think you'll get there. Uh, you'll get there faster on your own. Although, there is this hanging out around here. What rumors? Yeah. Oh. Skeletal horses. <laughs> he wants to meet? Okay, that guy actually wants to meet a skeletal horse. All right. Yes, Gerudo Town. The Dig Dog Bridge. Sand Shroud. That doesn't sound good. Alright, what kind of recommendation do you want? The Colosseum Ruins. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Highly recommend going to those ruins. Be warned, a truly vicious monster has settled there. Oh, God. That sounds horrible. Well, I feel like I don't want to go to the Colosseum now. Look! I am not feeling in the mood to die. What is this? What is this? Is this a steering wheel? I would love to use this steering wheel. Alright, 
Hi ho, stupid mobile. Yes, not only am I using it, I am using it backwards. Okay, mental note. I have the steering wheel on backwards. That is why it is a stupid mobile. All right. Aha. Hey, ladies, look, I have a ride. Would you care to hop on? I guess not. Yes. Good. Now, I don't know how I can use this to help get my little friend up. That's not Bob, that's Larry. And Larry knows what he did. All right. This time, I'm pretty sure my contraption, Mabob, will work. Especially if I attach these flamethrowers to the back of my car. Take this! And now... I shall take this car and fly to the moon! <laughs> Let's go! It did not work. Alright, fine. We just need a cliff face that's less steep. I mean, look. I've only got my starting battery. It's not like I actually have all that much Zonai charges yet. But yeah, alas, I don't think I can help the Korok at this point in time. If my rocket-powered vehicle is not able to do anything. we. <laughs> it was worth a try. But you know what? 
I do not tolerate failure. So, off the cliff you go. Excellent. Goodbye! <laughs> Fare thee well, little Korok. Your voyage by sea will not be in vain. Oh, hey, I found your friend. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Fare thee well on your sea voyage. Well, that was fun. I don't know exactly what purpose that served. But that was fun. Don't worry, I'm sure that car is decidedly more... Uh, what's it called? It's, it's decidedly more... Uh, water capable than it was uh what's it called? than it was cliff capable because it certainly couldn't climb up the cliff spider car it was in fact not Speaking of, I don't think I'm going to make it to the top of this cliff. I don't have the stamina. No wonder those Gerudo ladies don't notice me. Do I have... I do... Hell, that'll work. It's always good to have some stamina restoring food when you've got very little stamina. Even so, I still doubt that I'll be able to make it to the top of this thing. It'll be close. No, it won't be close. Ah! You must be the Korok that is awaiting your friend. I believe he went out on a voyage. I can take you to him if you wish. He went off to become a pirate at sea. Whoa! Desmond DeHart, thank you for the follow, and I believe that's my 50th follower. Which means... I think that I qualify for affiliate now. Huzzah! Well, I hope that I qualify for affiliate now. I think I might. Anyway, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was climbing this cliff for some reason. Why am I climbing this cliff? I have no idea. I 
I just hope that I make it. Oh yeah, you told me go to the co- Oh god, no. Well. This is- This is timing. This is very good timing. I am just going to stay here, and I am not going to do anything until this rain stops. Because... This is scary. This is very scary. Well, okay, it's not scary. I think I... I, I think I'd have enough stamina... To make it. If I go like one, two up. And. Maybe. Who knows. But yeah, no. Time to have a drink. And I don't mean the alcoholic kind. I'm tempted to just go one, two, climb, and then, like, try to jump. But I don't think that that'll work. Remind me why I want to go, because there was a, a Lionel. There was a Lionel in the Colosseum last time. I feel like there's going to be something worse in there this time. Hello. It's better than never. Good to see you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. How was dinner? Uh-oh. Man, it always seems like rain lasts far longer than I want it to. Yeah, that's rain in these games for you. I remember that being one of the more annoying parts of... I mean, look, it is what it is. I need to, uh... I, I just need to be patient. Oh god, there's a thunderstorm coming up soon. I mean, there, there will be sun between now and then, so I think I, I should be able to scramble up the remainder of this cliff in the interim. Uh, Dien is telling me that I should go poke my head in the Colosseum, and I feel like that should be a... I feel like that is a bad idea, and I, I could not tell you why. You might want to hold off on that, yeah. Who did dinner kill, by the way? Oh, what the heck is this? Are these those Goron brothers again? I'm not dead yeah. yet. Oh. Okay. Test of strength. Sure. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. I don't know what this is. It's costing me 30 rupees. I it's some kind of mini game apparently. Yeah, actually I just pinched myself pretty hard. Can dead people feel pain? Uh, gotta go. Question Is the death count an accumulated thing? Yes, why do you ask? Or just for. Because I was about to ask if you died 14 times during this stream. No, it's an accumulated thing. And one. I was going to use it as proof that you need me. No, no, to it's, it's accumulated. Help keep you from dying. How am I supposed to throw anything okay, all the I way up so. there? Well, that's not even close to the right way. Rockets, rockets, rockets! Rockets! Hey, look, a rocket! And a spring! All right, let's see. Mr. Larry, it's time to go into orbit. I love orbit. All right, so that's one. Well, actually, that's not even close to where I want that. That's better. Now I'll have to turn the rock around, but I can turn the rock around. Okay, that's one. Let's find another rocket. Wait, are there any more rockets? What is this? What does this do? Uh, probably functions is like a thing. I don't know. Alright. Uh, Bell is over there. I might want to twist that. A little bit more. I think that'll work. Probably. Possibly. Hmm. Well, that did not work. And I think the rocket got destroyed. That sucked. Yes, thank you, Ethan. No, I don't need to attach that. Look, that's not- that one's not on me. That's not my fault. I did not hit attach. Okay, then whose fault is it? Uh... Larry's. Sure. You know what? I actually know what I want to do. Wee! -hee! Wee! Now I launched myself up at the bell. How does this not work? Game logic. Ow. He 
tried. Like that. Did I make- I don't think I made any money off of that. Oh well. That's so... weird. That was kind of amusing. A bit, yeah. Kind of. Holy guac, what the hell is... What the hell is that thing? How would I know? I already told you, I haven't, like, really played this game. Dian, please don't tell him to go in there. Thunder Gleok, eh? Such a weird name. Like, it doesn't look very gleeful. That looks very powerful. I mean, they're not exactly filled with glee at the side of it. I'm not exactly filled with that glee at the was gonna go up. I I'm not exactly filled with glee at the sight of it either. Like, again, that just looks I know what that looks like. That definitely looks like death. So I'm gonna just... Yeah, I think the sword is fine. I'll mark that as a sword as opposed to everything else that I just mark as death. But... I don't want to go in there. Um, I wouldn't want to go in there either. That looks like pain and suffering and death. Yes, I don't have proper equipment for this. I'm not sure about that. I really don't think so, and I don't have zappy-proof clothing. There is, however, a tower over there. Have I gotten that tower yet? I think I, I don't did. Know. Yeah, I got that tower, okay. That's the tower with that blue Baco boss by it. I will try this once. Reasonable? Maybe. Here we go, the Gleok didn't even kill me. It well was done. just falling to my doom that killed me. I mean, I kind of guessed, because it seemed like a big bad. And... I, I, like, I don't know what the eyeballs do. But it, it seems like this would be the kind of thing... I don't know. Huh? 
I really don't know. Didn't you up your fall count? No, because that was a death. Falls are for, like, bottomless Fair. pits. I love bottomless pits. Oh, this is lovely. Uh... Well. I better switch to a weapon that's not going to get me. Why the hell do I have a farmer's pitchfork? I don't want no farmer's pitchfork. Huh. Can't miss. And they auto crit. That sounds way too good to be true. Is where even is this thing at this point? Oh, hi, hi, rule. Well, that killed me. Okay. What did you think it would do? Uh, let me live. Naive. What do you mean, naive? I thought for uh, sure it would let me live. Anyway, I am not going to go after that thing with the middling equipment that I have now. That just strikes me as being the way to die. Yeah. And I'd rather not. Now, is that the tower that I want to go to? Yes. All right. So let's go this way. I believe that's the Dig Dog Bridge over here. Uh, oh, Zonite creatures. Fascinating. Yeah, the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. I absolutely remember this. There was a Hinox here in uh, the mini stable. Well, that's kind of fun. We like stables and horses and stuff. Yes. I 
I think the most evil thing I ever did in a Zelda game was abandon my horse in the middle of that one field in Breath of the Wild with a bunch of guardians. That's rude. I know. I felt so bad. The poor horse was there for, I don't know, probably like a day or something. Like, in real life, before I went back there and was like, you know what, I can't do that. I have to help the horse. Yes. Always help the horse. Horses are great. Yes, especially if they are fire unicorn horses. Named Yandere Chan. Yes. The best. The best. Now, let's break these wooden crates. Hey, a sun shroom. I probably should have taken a picture of that. Hey, a nothing. I probably shouldn't have taken a picture of that. Hooray, multiple sun shrooms. Man, this is really coming down. Speaking of coming down, this is uh, Zonai Ruin. A little chilly. Tell me about Gerudo Canyon. Oh dear. The girl in the tent, eh? There's a girl in the tent. Who are you? Okay. Huh. All right. Sure. Okay, X marks the spot. Uh-huh. Oh, that's useful. Yes. And those are continuously marked on my map. So good, good. I like what I am hearing. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Uh, delete that, because I don't know, like, this is something, but... Oh, it's just flint. All the wet flint. Oh, and I don't have a picture of a torch yet. Flint is wet. Someone get a towel to dry him off. Uh, it's not good fine. to be a fire type specialist and be all wet. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That blew the hell out of whatever was in those crates. Hey, it's a this toasty sunshine. This is why I am sunshine. terrified of lightning in this game. Well, good news, it's not storming anymore. I nearly got this poor lady struck by lightning, though.
All right, what do you have to say? Yes. What is the secret? Meals using chill shrooms, sun, sun shrooms, okay. That sounds fascinating. There's also a pot lid over here. But sure, let's make up a meal with some toasty sun shrooms. See what kind of heat resistance I'll get with that. Or cold resistance. Double cold resistance. That sounds excellent. But I haven't found any chill shrooms. So I might have to... Ooh, what is this? Ah, yes, splash fruit. I've seen Splash Fruit before. I haven't actually figured out anything useful to do with it yet, mind you. Ooh! A Zone A machine! That's always fun. Oh, by the way, I got my 50th follower earlier. Yay! So I think I now qualify for affiliate. I'll have to double check that after uh, my stream today. But that's exciting. Yippee! What exactly is an affiliate again? It means that I'll have access to emotes and channel point rewards. I think. Yippee! There's a treasure chest up here. With a portable pot in it. Hooray! I have not actually used those portable pots. But they might come in handy if I happen to be in the middle of nowhere and need to do some cooking. There's no more Hinox on this bridge, which you, you won't hear me complain about, mind you. There. Hi. Uh... Oh. Kakariku Village, huh? And Terry Town. Oh, I already know what that does. Behold my Beholdenator. Uh, where's the my... The Golden my beloved. Yes. I'll put in... Five of these. And... Let's see what gumballs the gumball machine gives me. Ooh, spring, big wheel, more big wheels, portable pots, battery, a stake. Ew, I hate those things. Those are bad. <laughs> Let's try the gumball machine again. Yeah, steak. Aw, more steaks, but a lot of big wheels and springs, a couple of batteries. Springs are always good. They're hilarious. 
springs or springs? Yes. Rush room. Gotta grab that for my friend. Come to think of it, he was hanging out the outskirts stable last time I saw him. Anyway, that's nice. Can I teleport to that automatically? No. Well, that's fine. All right. Well, that, uh... Hmm, not great. What kind of quest do you have? Okay. This seems like it's the same thing as it was with Sesame and his friends. Disaster in Gerudo Canyon. I am unlocking all these side quests and not actually do... <gasps> I found a Gerudo! Another one! Hello! Uh. Okay. Best warm up when it's cold. Vigorously fan myself. Okay. Uh -huh. Upwind! <laughs> Fine, a nice shady spot. Okay. Cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures. That would be the Stamella Shroom. All right. Where in Gerudo Canyon could you go to avoid being affected by the extreme temperatures day or night? Okay. Spicy pepper. You kind of let me, uh... You kind of let me do that, didn't you? Not that I'm going to complain, but... I don't think I really needed that charity. Well, maybe I did, because I'm a stupid. Hmm. Nothing important up here. I thought there might be. Anyway, I don't think I've got the proper equipment to go in the desert. That's not going to stop me, though. I must get... I must get to where I am going. Possibly at any cost. Preferably at no cost at all. Yeah. Huh. What is this? Interesting. 
How does one acquire said chest? I could try fusing it with something. No, I can't fuse the chest with anything. That's disappointing. But yeah, no, I can't seem to get rid of this metal grating. Which is grating on my nerves. I wonder if... Uh. Ooh, hold on. I had that for like half a second. Ooh. I had it for like half a second where I could get up top. Alas, it was not to be. But there is a way to get all the way up to the top. I just have to figure out how. There we go! Ow! Huh. Unbearable cold. Dawning! Hello, Dawning. That's not a concussion. That sort of feels like it could be a concussion, but... How are you feeling, Dawning? I know you're tired, but... Hmm... Can I get to that chest from below? Am I freezing to death on purpose? It's a distinct possibility. It's snowing on March 25th. It was snowing here relatively recently. Anyway, I'm going to give up on that chest for now. And just try to make a beeline for the tower. There's a lizard over there, though. Play rehearsal got cancelled because of the snow. Wow! That's surprising! I was wondering why it seemed like you were, uh around earlier, though, that does actually explain things. Okay, good night, uh... Night, Deanne. Night, Deanne. Uh-oh. It may be time. Ah, those are fire lizards. Fire probably wouldn't work too well on them, would it? 
Yeah, I could see it. But box certainly will work. I am practicing my boxing skills. Oh, right, I don't have a bow anymore. Stop hopping and around like an idiot. And let me kill you. Alright, so that's one down. I really don't have time for this. All right, let me grab another weapon. Sure, we'll grab my big stick of whackin'. Our oh, Lizalfo's talon. Fire breath, Lizalhorn. Lizalbow. The sturdy long stick. Tablet. Thinking it could get me. Uh, hmm. Attach the sturdy wooden stick to the long one, eh? You know, that could be a fusion weapon. It is a super long stick. It's the sturdy stick stick. <laughs> oh, man. Have I mentioned recently how much I love this game? Yes, multiple times. Rock salt. Nothing but rock salt. Luminous stone. Also, I don't think either of you want to know how I got these giant whacking sticks. I think I do. You do? You want to know how I got yeah. it, or you think you know how I got it? I think I want to know. Oh. Uh, I killed a blue Baco boss. Several Sad. times. Unfortunately, it happens. I'm pretty sure he deserved it. Pretty sure, anyway. Hmm. <coughs> he did, in fact, turn on his own people, yes. Yes. 
He attacked his fellow goblins. Yeah, that wasn't very nice of him. To be fair, he may have been model butted. Especially as a goblin. It's Which I'm sure was entirely his own fault. But yeah, no, he's a goblin boss and he was attacking his own subordinates. How could any goblin do such a thing? Only a fake goblin. So what is this thing? That's like a tumbleweed of some kind. It's, I think, starting to get kind of warm out here. Slightly. A little bit? Or a lot? Well, right now it's not too bad. But I get a feeling that it's going to get unbearably warm very soon. And Link may start dying. Link dies. Or complains about the a weather lot. quite a bit. Have you noticed Link does a lot of complaining? Yeah. There's no such thing as too warm. I tend to agree. Although right now I'm sure you actually feel that way um, very much so. Because of how the weather is in your particular area. And I really can't say I blame you, Dawning. Like us, it, I don't it, like the heat. You don't like what? Oh. The heat. I prefer it. it makes me sick. I had snow here over the weekend. It was not nice. Same. Well, yeah, we're rough. I mean, I won't say we're in exactly the same area, but we're in roughly the same area to the point where I'd be reasonably yeah. confident saying that the weather that I have is going to be pretty damn close to the weather that you have. Yeah. That's what I just said, Dawning. Yeah, I see that temperature rising. Very soon it's going to get so hot, Link's going to start complaining, and there's no shade out here. Well, there might be some shade under those rocks. Wait, what do you mean my, my uh, cold resistance isn't good enough? Why is my cold resistance not good enough to handle this? Oh, because it's hot, not cold. Maybe that explains it. Where's the damn tower? Somewhere. It was up the last time I checked. So, you know what the fastest way to go up is? If I could use Ascend, but I don't think I can. Flying would be helpful. But I don't think I can. I don't happen to have anything that's icy. Ooh! What do you mean I can't do that here? Okay, hang on.
man, I thought that would give me more cold resist, or that that would give me more heat resistance. I am evidently wrong. I do not believe that I am ready to go find this tower. Probably not. <sighs> but take as much time as you need. Leave it there because it looks silly. Yeah, I will in fact leave it there. And it does in fact look silly. Yeah. I'll just, like, brute force it and eat apples and stuff to try to keep myself alive while searching for this tower. Though, this is really not my best and brightest idea. Eh. Yeah, eh, indeed. Although, at this point, I might eat another... I, I have really gone through, like, all of the stamina food that I have made for myself. And I am eating far too much of it. Just trying to climb the cliffs down here. On the other hand, it's serving two purposes right now. In actually restoring my health. Because I am dying due to this heat. Yippee, heat stroke. That seems like one of the worst ways to go out. Oh, hey, I made it. I, I really did not expect that I would make it. Cats. I also found some lizards. I don't think they're very friendly, though. Probably not. I found some wolves, too. Those also are definitely not, not friendly. friendly. On the other hand, here's the tower. Nice. So, progress? I'd say so. I'm not a dog person, they could tell. Look, why does that affect what the lizards think of me? Um, because it does. Okay, so it's less unbearably hot over here. Congratulations, I have discovered shade. Yippee. Is over there. What is this box? That looks like it would have some good stuff in it. Do you think that looks like it, it would have some good stuff in it? Maybe. Hopefully. Worth a shot. My cold resistance ran out. I'm going to freeze to death. Darn it! I'm going to freeze to death in this burning hot desert. Uh-huh. Irony of ironies. But... I think that there's an easy way to get where I'm going. Because I have to remember 
that I've got this. And I can swim through the rocks. Well, I love that thing so much. <coughs> and here we are at the tower. Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. I have arrived. No, nothing is solid in Hyrule. Uh-oh. Hello? Why is this not working? Stick poke? Well, that's very sad. I made it all the way out here. And that's not working. Why is that not working? I don't know. I should have known there would be a trap. What's the deal here? Why come this is not working? Interesting. Anyway, since this is not working, I must investigate. There might be someone here to potentially try fixing things. Is there an elevator? Yeah, that looks like an elevator. <laughs> Who's... Oh. Well, there's someone over there. Okay. I know what I must do if that guy's name is Sauce and he's probably part of the, uh... Oh, wait, get Dragon. Dragon! Oh, it's Farish again. Well, Dien's not here anymore. Aww. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Because she hasn't been in the chat for a while. No, she was here earlier. But yeah, well, no. yeah, I remember. Woo! Woo! Well, that wasn't what I wanted it to do. That, in fact, was not what I wanted it to do at all. Shame. DN does go to sleep at normal times. Which makes some mm. sense. Although, what is this normal oh, time of which you first. speak? I thought you meant... You thought I meant what? I thought you were saying dawning, and I was like, how? No, no, not dawning. Not ascend. All right. We will fuse these two together. And now I shall take these. Uh-huh. Fun. 
I am doing very good at this job. But I get a feeling that I am supposed to take these. A little further out. Okay, good. Let's see if I can't attach another one. Oh, stuff. Yes, need more heavy. Saucin is 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 very uh Saucin is very heavy. I think that one box would have done it, but I kind of screwed up that one box, so... Ah, uh, this will work. Ooh. Uh, okay. I've gone up. Well, that's kind of amusing. But yeah, no, one of the boxes broke. Oops, that's rewind. I don't need to do that. I need the Ultra Hand. You know what? I think the box was too much. Let's try a barrel. And we'll put that... Well, that's something. Let's try another barrel. Still nothing, huh? Unfortunate. Also, I could just light a fire if I really wanted to. Oops. I am very good at this job. Very, very good at this job. None of this stuff is heavy enough. I dropped all the heavy stuff. Link, stop complaining. It's your fault we're in this mess in the first place. Well, that was fun. <laughs> 
Yes, quit freezing to death, you foolish fool. Hmm. Donnie, it's, he said the line. It's warm inside these rocks. Actually, I don't think Link is dying right now. <laughs> so it might actually be warm inside the rocks. Hmm, is it any warmer inside the tower? Yes, as it so happens. Very well. That makes sense. I might have to wait here until such time as it starts to get less cold out. Does that sound like a fun idea? Eh. Eh, I agree. It's very eh. But, at least it beats dying. Probably. I would say so, yeah. Most likely, anyway. I mean, it's not exactly the most entertaining thing, but I, I am here, and I will get that sauce and fellow up here if it's the last thing that I do. Given my idiocy, it probably will be the last thing that I do. Arn. If I jump on that thing, it probably will be enough weight to get him up and keep him up. Just a thought, anyway. What do you think? Good idea? Bad idea? Your call. I mean, look, I've done stupid, and I've literally gotten rid of everything else that's heavy on this side because I've dropped it off the damn cliff. The only way I can think of to possibly deal with that would be if I reset the area. And to reset the area, I need to leave. And that just doesn't seem like a good idea now, does it? Yeah. Because if I reset the area, I don't have the teleport here. And that means that I'd have to trek my way all the way back. And I would not look forward Which is to not such a fun. thing. No. So don't do that. I don't intend to. Good. Oh, waiting is boring, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Although there are probably ways to make waiting less boring. Well, yeah, talking to someone definitely helps. That's why I'm glad that there are people here. There are people here, right? We're glad you're here, too. Good. I'm happy to be here. And, if I Yay. am correct, 
I'm also happy that after this stream, I should be affiliate on Twitch, which is nice. I Like I said, I will have to double check the numbers. All right. I actually stepped out of the room for a moment because I actually was bored. Not people, you're goblins. Bear. Why aren't goblins... Is he, are, are you suggesting that goblins aren't people? Aww. That's really rude. Goblins can be people too, you know. Especially the really cute ones. Depends on your definition of people. You know, human beings are not the only types of people. They like to monopolize the word, true, but humans aren't the only type of people in the world. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this piece of wood. Look out below. I'm dropping so much crap on sauce and it's not even funny. They'll just have to get over it. I mean, yeah. Oops. That was definitely not what I intended to do. I'm a little clumsy. Have I noticed? Well, we've uh, noticed. Yes, you've noticed. You will never let me hear the end of it. If anything, I'm clumsier, so don't feel too bad. This isn't working. Why is this not working? How is all of this not heavier than that one guy? Sawson, you are really heavy, man. A little bit. Oh! That explains it. Okay. That definitely explains it. Link's weight. No, Link's weight isn't negative, it's just that that other platform was connected to a giant heavy box. For some silly reason. I wonder who the hell could have done that. Hmm. Who's going around causing pranks and super gluing stuff? It was dawning. I knew it all along. Okay. Again, how is this not going down? Sawson, what are you? Hmm. 
Well, now Link is complaining because it's too hot outside. Some people really are impossible to please. And Link is one of them. And Saucin is another. Like, again, how the hell is this guy so damn light? I don't understand this. I really don't. Like, I've got two metal boxes, two barrels, and a link over here. And that doesn't seem to be enough to lift one guy. Go obtain- there is no more heavy. Like, I have broken or I have destroyed all of the other heavy. And I don't know how I would be able to get that box back up here. You know, maybe the problem is that I never actually spoke to Sawson. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe I had to actually speak to him to get that to work. Okay. Something happened. Yeah, no, there's nothing attached to that metal bit. Nothing, he says. Make the big box long. How can I make the big box long? I can't. It's impossible. Unpossible. <laughs> How is this not actually working? 
I know my physics. This should be working. Not enough heavy. There is too much heavy. Okay. Do I really need to grab enough of those so that I can stack at to the frickin' heavens? It's not even allowing me to put that all the way up. So let's drag this over a bit. Just making a mess. That did, in fact, just make a mess. Not surprising. I mean, yeah. That is kind of what I do best. Huh. He just kind of shrugged that off like it was nothing. There is plenty of weight on that platform now. Plenty of weight. And I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to get more. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, it's allergies. Ah. Uh, those are horrible. Yeah. Well, technically, it got a fluff, but there's still no fun. Yeah. See, here's the other thing, is I can't just, like, keep building things up because it's not going to let me put them that high. 
Unless I keep doing stupid shit like that. Which I suppose I can keep doing stupid shit like that. That's not the permanent place that I'm going to stick that. That should be snaggable from up top, I think. If this works, I'm going to be somewhat surprised. No, I think it might still be a little short. Still a little short, but... I had another long around here somewhere. This has to be the absolute most convoluted BS that I've had to do so far to accomplish any of my aims. And it's entirely my fault in the first place. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Uh-oh. It's cold again. Link, while you're wasting time climbing this, you're dying. Ah! Still not long enough. That's not a bad idea. I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to put this. This whole cockamamie contraption. Well, that toppled over. I should have known that it wouldn't work. Okay.
Let's see. Ah! It's coming after me! It's coming after me! Did you think it wouldn't? I thought for once one of my creations wouldn't try to kill me. Naive. Uh, I know. Where did the plank even go? Oh, there's the plank. How did you even get attached to that in the first place? Alright. Now let's make this nice and flat. Nope, nothing doing. There's got to be a way to get stuff back up there if I've screwed this up. Oh! No? I still haven't figured out how I'm supposed to, uh, help that guy. No, the boulder shouldn't be at the bottom. That's not the bigger problem. The bigger problem is I don't have enough weight to do anything and I can't get any more weight up the cliff. Like, there, there is no way any of this stuff is actually getting up the cliff. No, no chance. Not attached, just go down like that. Then let's actually take this off. We'll put that down there for now. Put that there. <coughs> Link, stop crouching. Don't tell him what to do. I'm supposed to tell him what to do. It's my job as the protagonist character. Or as the guy who's playing or, or controlling him in this video game. Of course, that explains yeah. why Link does nothing but stupid stuff, because I'm in charge. What? 
First of all, why the hell did you get glued to that? Second of all... Hello again, Farish. Third of all... This may not be a bad thing. Fourth of all, when is it going to stop being cold? Ah, actually that's not going to work, is it? Well, get rid of you. Because I don't actually need you. Oh yeah, it'll get, it'll stop being cold when it starts getting hot. That makes perfect sense. Come on. I mean, this is pretty close to the top as is. Come on! Why can't I build the Tower of Babel just like I want to? Okay. All right. God help me if that's not close enough. It still might not be. Yeah, but I'm not gonna... I don't want to get this all the way to the top of that. Ugh, this is so stupid. You know, I'd intended to do more today than just get to this tower.
Okay. So I got it, but I still can't lift it all the way up. Come on. Oh yeah, rotate sideways. What? That's not what I did. That's not what I did. I hit the L button, not or I hit the R button, not the L button. I hit the R button, not the L button. And it switched to my frickin' camera! Well. That is not what it was supposed to have done! But you know what? You're right. Let me, uh, where's the other long? It's over here. That's not perfect, but... Okay. Take a hundred and seventy-five billion. <sighs> and I think it's going to actually be too far away this time. At last! Oh, oh. All right. Yes, yes, thank you, Dawning. Uh... What? Now what? What? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep.
Okay. And that's staying that way. The other guy got up. He damned well better have. Stupid Sawson and his stupid platform. Well... Well? All right. Thank you, Sawson. And now, launch. Fire in the hole. quite nice up here. And that unlocks a massive area of the map. including my beloved girly town. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Just look at this wonderful desert full of wonderful redheads. It's coming up to meet me with its unbearable heat. It's gonna kill me. Where's my heat resistant food? Oh, I know where this is. This is that area with the seven heroines. I would like to go here. because that looks like a good place to go. I don't like that the ancient redhead heroines are... gone now. Oops. 
Well, that didn't kill me. And you know what they say about things that don't kill you. They make you fear for your life for the rest of your life? Nah, what doesn't kill you makes you stranger. Epic. I'm pretty sure that's how the expression goes anyway. Yeah. <coughs> Man, it looks like this desert really got hit. <coughs> By, uh... Hey, a boomerang. My stick stick has lost a stick, yes. But now it's got a boomerang. <laughs> you know, I don't know why that thing didn't just try to use its electric powers. That probably could have killed me. <coughs> Alas, lizards are not smart. They're not goblins, after all. But then again, are goblins all that smart? suppose it depends on the goblin. Hello, redhead. Okay. You know, if I were them, I'd be worried about that thing, too. You know why I would be worried about that thing? Why? Because, uh, oh, strange monsters. What does that kind of look like? And it just sprouted up in the middle of... It's, it's a giant mushroom th uh, uh, made of stone. It kind of just popped up for no good reason. Saba. Mm. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that means, but sure. Couple of treasure chests over here. You know what? Fine. I will not steal from the from the Gerudo. Are you kidding? Oh. Tee hee. Oh. I still can't get in there. Oh. 
I still can't get in there. But I thought for sure that becoming a hero of the Redheads last time... I mean, what's a guy gotta do? Ooh, a Gerudo bow. That's nice. You tried simply being a girl. Uh, I am incapable of that. I tried dressing like a girl in the previous game, but, uh, I mean, I guess that did technically work, but sounds like a you problem. I mean, maybe? A sliding device, eh? Okay. Tell me what, though, before I actually get too far in. Let me check behind here for treasure. One of these days, they're going to put it back there, and I'm going to laugh and say, I told me so. Oh, looks like one has to go sliding. How one does that without getting killed... treasure on any of those? It doesn't look like it. Almost like it's the name of the shrine. There's a shrine here? But that's a bottomless pit. So where am I actually supposed to go? Where am I actually supposed to go? Because again, it, it couldn't possibly be going down there. That's a bottomless pit. Right? But I'm not actually seeing anywhere else to go in this, sh well, except that way. Maybe you throw the spare down. Maybe? Now that didn't do anything. Uh... It summoned this one. But this is just a replacement for that one. Maybe it's a trick. Maybe I have to stop all of these things from sliding. Haha! <laughs> Brilliant. It's... 
absolutely brilliant. <coughs> now, what did that do? Uh, no, it literally did not. Oh, you know what? I've been looking at this the wrong way. I think I'm gonna take my leave now. It's getting kinda late. That's fair. But I do thank you for keeping me company. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Ah. All right, this is the way. Ah. Okay. That was kind of scary, but I made it. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, no, hold on. Dissin. <laughs> Uh, no, I want to put that on the front. Onward, stupid mobile! Away! <laughs> well, this thing doesn't have the power. Come on, stupid mobile. It's not working. Hmm. I see fans too, but they are out of my reach. Unless... Forward! Ah. 
Yes! Except now I'm stuck back here. You cannot get away from me that easily, stupid mobile. I mean, of course I want the second fan, but I'm not doing this just for the heck of it. All right. Now, there's got to be treasure in this area somewhere. I intend to drive this stupid mobile around until I find it. So that's where I'm supposed to go. That's... That's an edge! Don't go in the edge! Hard about... Well, curses. Curse me, kilts! Stuck. Aha! Other way. Uh oh. Uh oh! Arrows, you say? I like arrows, but where's the chest? Wee! Ah! Too much power. Help! 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 Aha! Well, there goes my ride. Oh yeah, I see it. It's over there. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get that. Oh well. Glide across the hole. That sounds not possible. Alright, I'm bored of this nonsense. That is the fourth light of blessing that I have gotten this time. And that's good news. 
There actually is a shrine by the Karakara Bazaar this time. How bizarre. I don't have enough money for that. Oh, hey, I could buy this woman's melons. Should I, uh... I wonder if I should do that. Oil jar! What's over here? Oh my goodness, choo-choo jellies. That actually makes a lot of sense. What do I want to sell? Man, they lowered the price of these. They lowered all the. Uh, they lowered the price of a lot of these things. Because I'm pretty sure opals used to be sixty. And Ambers used to be 30. How do I have more blue Baco horns than... You know what? I don't want to know. I've got plenty of boss Baco fangs. I don't want to sell my frocks fang. See, the problem is I don't have a ton of stuff to sell. Yeah, even if I sold all of that, that would be barely 160. I'll sell 20. Uh. And I, I will sell my opals and my ambers. I know that I'm going to need them for uh. armor later, but... I need money more than I need anything else at this... P well, more than I need jewels at this point. Oh. And then this is an inn. You're worried, eh? Ooh. 
Oh, good, pirates. Uh. Can I climb up these? I can climb up these ladders. I don't think that there's an actual purpose to this. But I can. Ah, yes, the spa plan. A book! That sounds boring. Ah, good. I've got to take pictures of the choo-choo jellies. Well, good. Hey! Well, well, well. I fell down a well. Help! Bright-eyed crab, eh? Sounds like it might make some good dinner. A discovery. The oasis source. Interesting. Sapphire. Uh oh, it's a peblet. A tree branch. A hearty truffle. Oh, probably should have taken a picture of that. I actually needed a picture of the tree branch, so okay, good. It does seem like there are a lot. Well, that did way too little for what it should have done.
I'm hearing horrible noises. And by horrible, I might mean horriblin. Whoa! Oh, speaking of my album, there is a picture in here, Dawning, I think you will find amusing. Where is it? Oh, yes, I found it. Here is the photo I think you will like. Seconds later, that boulder from that Octorok hit me in the face. That was not a death. That was a concussion. That was actually a couple of concussions because it hit me in the face a couple of times. I will also say that I hate mining in this game compared to mining in Breath of the Wild. I absolutely find it appalling how this was handled. Like, it's, it's really, really bad. that I have to actually use my weapons for this stuff, and I really don't get much of anything out of it. Where does this even go? I don't even want to know. Well, okay, yes I do. Ooh, stuffamajigs and thingamajigs and thingamastuffs.
Okay, I got a bubble gem. Well, there's a lot of stuff hanging out down here. That's a tree branch. Well, that was expected. All right. Is there another rock I can fuse this with? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do now. I need an actual rock. Or a boulder. Where are Bob and Larry when you need them? Oh, and I haven't even gone that way yet. Here we go! <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a sec. Before I spend too much time... ...smashing through... Yeah, I think it's just the other way to get in. Yeah, okay, that's just the other way to get in from there. So what is this? They make mining so much more of a pain in the ass. And they make the uh, materials for mining worth even less. It annoys me to no end. This is a big cave, though. A lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff indeed. Can I crouch and go under there? Maybe, if I had a different shield, or if I removed... Now. That looks safe. I think that looks very safe.
How safe does that look, you ask? Well, I'm getting myself a bigger rock. Or a boulder, as it were. No? Why not? Why not? Where the heck am I? Well, this doesn't seem very safe. Dawning, should I exit or should I go back? Well, okay. That explains that. Good. To be fair, I did in fact exit. Then I immediately went right back down. Because I figured that's where the sinkhole would be. Now, where do I go to get out of here? I believe it's through this away. Yep, here we are, back at the Karakara Bazaar well. All's well that ends well. That should be the name of this episode. Cerrito. Yeah, <laughs> combined good evening with Sava Saba. Okay. Really, tell me about this thing. Vaux Caravan Squad. Ah. Mm hmm. Oh. We spent years here trying to curry favor with them in any way we could. Ah. 
I've lost count by the number of times I've been swatted swatted with the flat of a guard spear. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, true men of culture. Oh, the Gerudo ladies who ended up gallantly rescuing you. Okay. These guys expect that they're going to be able to get in. Oh, I know what that is. I know exactly what that one is. I used it to unlock a shrine. Where the seven hero uh, where the seven heroic ladies were. Uh-huh. Don't cause trouble by being reckless. We uh oh. That's just a bad idea. A bad idea. In a long, never ending list of bad ideas. I do have some of those. Yeah, no, I'm not going to start with this sandstorm when it's this late. However, I haven't been to the depths today. I am also very curious about this thing. Can I climb it? I cannot climb it. Well, that seemed like a waste of a perfectly good arrow. But that thing is glowing purple. I feel like there's something I should be able to do with my powers. Well, I can't. That does kind of suck. Oh well, made it all the way out to the Gerudo Desert, which is definitely something. But, let's go here. Like I said, I haven't really been to the depths today. So... Let's head to the depths. And see what we can see.
Okay, yeah, everything's working again. I don't understand why my headset does stupid things on occasion, but my headset does stupid things on occasion. Anyway... You may notice this thing. That thing is evil. That thing is a fox. I am not good at fighting the fox. But, I think at least from the statue, I can get a decent vantage point. Now, where did it go? That is an excellent question. Oh, it's right there. So, frocks are interesting enemies. See how slow it looks and ungainly? It's definitely, definitely not a pretty looking creature. I mean, just look at that thing. Ugh. See, here it comes. Well, I did that to myself. I did not aim properly. Oh well, live and learn. Anyway. That thing wasn't exactly being cooperative. There we go. Hello. Open wide. Yeah, die and learn.
Always die and learn. Always die and learn. But I think I'll take on this Frox and I'll beat it. And that'll be the last thing that I do for today. It is possible to do. It is possible. What's over here? Ah, who knows. But, I guess one other thing that I can show while I'm here is there's a stone talus over there. So there's lots of evil stuff lurking around down here. It's not just the frocks, and it's not just... Right? It's, it's not just, uh goblins and other stuff there's there's Hinox there's stone talus there's everything possible is not necessarily within my range of competence I have beaten this thing before and I have its fingernail to prove it Of course, that was when it was actually behaving itself and opening its mouth so that I could shoot a bomb in there, but that's a whole different story. But you can see it's got Zonite ore on its back, right? And these ore is its weak spot. It's also got the single eye that you can shoot to try to stun it like a Hinox. And you can put a bomb in its mouth to stun it, like a Moldugga. And it actually has a fairly wide area that it covers. Now, you might ask, well, why don't you just swoop down or sneak up on it or hit it with uh, the hammer, right, climb on it when it's not attacking you or when it's not stunned. Well, there's good reason for not doing that. And the reason is it doesn't work. When did I lose a... Oh yeah, I lost a heart while I was in the desert. Which does remind me, I'm going to need to snag more apples and do some more cooking before next time. I do have a bunch of golden apples I can cook. It's also deaf as a post. There we go.
There we go. Well, this is a problem. And, yep. Okay, I didn't do terrible that time until I landed in the wrong area. That's fine. But, you know, that thing touches you, it's, like, extremely powerful. That is instant death, at least as far as I currently am. But you get the idea of how to fight that thing. I just, I fell off it instead of flew off it that second time. But it... If you can get a rhythm going for it, it's actually not terrible. On the other hand, I might just quit and say I tried. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Then kill it off stream. Yeah, very reasonable. Come on, buddy. Yep, yeah, it ate me. I forgot it could do that. Yeah, no, possible is not necessarily within my range of competence, indeed.
this statue is not exactly the safest place. It gives me a decent vantage point, but it's not guaranteed to be safe. Where'd it go? Must have run scared. Oh, there it is. Oops, well, I figured it wasn't going to keep falling for that uh, and eventually might come to the conclusion that, hey, I was continuously bombing it. Wasn't exactly how I wanted to beat the thing anyway, so I'm not going to complain. Might only give this one more shot, though. Where the heck am I? I don't actually know where I am? Uh... Okay. Wrong statue, I guess? Where is the frocks? Oh, it's over there. Well, I lived, which is at least something. Climb, Mr. Link. Yeah, so this is the right one.
There we go. Well, close, but no cigar. That definitely got closer than I had any of the previous times. Where am I? I thought I actually hit it that time. Okay, yeah. Yep, it got me again. I'm getting closer. I just can't stick the landing. Which is unfortunate. Ooh, that's actually very far away. No, it's not. Eat.
<laughs> Whoa! That jumped really high up. Also, was literally impossible to see. I did not actually expect it to be able to get me while I was so high up in the sky. But I suppose it is a frog, so... Man, oh man. I am having a lot of trouble with this froggy. Maybe I should just leave it well enough alone. Literally just turning around, this thing kills me. Anyway, it's amusing, but... I don't think I should keep ramming my head against this wall for terribly much longer. ways Oops, I meant to try to bomb the thing while I was still mid-flight, and did not exactly succeed. Alright, I think one more try.
The timing is a little off when I'm watching everything on a one second delay. By a little. Yes, and now we wait. And we run back to Sanctuary. That's terrible timing. And once again, we wait and hope that it just forgets that I exist. see me. I'm not right here. All right, so here it comes again. Open wide, ugly.
Come on. Nope. So close. But even the coward's way couldn't save me. Ah. <sighs> Very well. I tried. The motto is one should never try things that one is never comfortable with. Or one should probably just leave nature alone if one does not wish to actually fight nature. We'll give this one more try. Well, this is already off to a brilliant start. Come on, Link, climb. Link, why aren't you climbing? Damn you, you stupid, stupid Link. I refuse to blame myself for this one. Yeah, no, I refuse to blame myself for that one. I had it, and Link just wasn't climbing the damn hippopotamus. Like, I blew it up, and I could have had it, and killed it, But Link was unable to... Like, again, Link will always climb when I don't want him to. And Link will never climb when I actually want him to.
Well, I don't know what kind of silly cycle I got this thing caught up in, but... I'll take it. Oh, hey, it's dead. Well, that was a very clumsy victory. And costly. That was a very, very costly victory. But... The Frox is dead. Hooray. Now this area is relatively safe. So I can go gather some more pose. Make up for the bomb arrows that I used excessively. Well, that bomb flower will help with that, too. Oh, boy. But, yeah, no, technically the way you're supposed to do that is a little different from how I did it. You could probably tell. But I am a stupid and a clumsy, so not surprising that I didn't do it the correct way. Since the Frox was defeated, though, I should like to find where its horde of Zonite was. Which I think is down this way a bit. Yeah. See, I've lost track of everything since I was running all over the place like an idiot. Where is the Frox's Zonite? I think I've gone way too far. Okay, hang on. Let me teleport... back to here. Then I'll track it down based on where the, uh... Yeah. That 
that's going to be the, uh, the the easier way. And there's a couple more pose I can snag while I'm at it. Okay, yeah, so here, I think, is... Yeah, 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 here's where I fight the thing. So it's Zonite Horde should be somewhere back here. No Zonite Horde. Well, it should be back here. I swear I saw a huge pile of Zonite back here while I was fighting the thing one of the times that I lost. Oh, that might be it right over here. Aha! Spoils of war. It really wasn't worth it, was it? Alright, let's go back to the lookout landing. And then I am going to... What am I going to do? Pray to the god, get myself another heart, and we're ending things off here. I didn't do nearly as much as I would have hoped to have done today. But I still managed to uh, complete four shrines, unlock one tower in probably the stupidest way possible. Uh, I met a Gleok for the first time, which is terrifying. And finally managed to defeat a Frox after far too long. Man, I need to definitely, definitely, definitely get more bombs. But such is life. Or in my case, such is death. All right. Give me a heart. Hooray! Go and bring peace to the world. I don't feel like it. What I do feel like doing, though, is saving things off here. So, that's going to do it for me for today. If you were watching this on my YouTube channel, you can catch me live on my Twitch channel every Monday evening and Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. United States Central Time. That's over there. If you're watching this on my Twitch channel and you missed part of the stream, 
I upload the footage to my YouTube channel there. You can also catch myself and Dawning Winds on the Bulba Garden Twitch channel there. I usually stream on Sundays with Pokemon Art Academy. Dawning Winds streams uh, Saturday evenings with her sketching Saturdays with actual artwork. Dragon Nataku was here earlier. You can catch her on her channel over there. And the Caps fan, who is not here this evening, can be found on his channel over there. Definitely go and keep an eye on them because there's always fun things happening there. One other quick thing is that Bulba Garden will be participating in the Catch a Million uh, event April 7th through 14th. So I will not be streaming on this channel that week. I will be streaming exclusively on the Bulba Garden channel. We will be trying to have 24 7 coverage that week. I'm actually putting together a schedule. Uh, well, not literally as I speak, because I'm streaming right now, but that's beside the point. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, it's it's looking relatively good so far. But even if you can't participate in the event, or even if you can't be at the event or donate, spread the word, because word of mouth is a powerful way of spreading messages. I believe that is going to do it for me for this evening. I'll be back with more Tears of the Kingdom and scientific nonsense going boink on Wednesday evening, 7.30 p.m. United States Central Time. In the meantime, of course, though, I am, as always, a maniacal engineer, and I'm never going to give you up, never going to let you down. Thank you all for watching, and God bless this mess.